Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of Hexic equations, we'll be solving one Olympiad prep problem, which is x square minus 4 x plus 1 times x plus 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 8 plus 476 equal to 0. So I will use algebra altogether to solve this problem. So let's get started. As we can see, it is x square minus 2 square. So we can write only this bracket, we can write x plus 2 times x minus 2 by the difference of the square formula, which is a square minus b square can be written as a plus b times a minus b. This is what we know. Okay, so our equation will convert it into x minus 2 x plus 2. x plus 1 x plus 4 x plus 5 x plus 8 we are having 6 roots so we will find out x plus 8 plus 476 equal to 0 now see i am not going to open this bracket to collect the power 6 see x minus 2 and if i will take x plus 8 so let me write here x minus 2 x plus 8 then I will consider x plus 2 and x plus 4 so x plus 2 x plus 4 then I will take up x plus 1 and x plus 5 why I am putting like symbols like that let me explain plus 476 equal to 0. See clue is there. This number written, let me change this color. This written number is 8 and see here it is minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. Now see 2 and 4 is 6. 5 and 1 is 6. So that was our target actually. So I will take the product of these two, then I will take the product of these two, then I will take the product of these two brackets. So if I will write x square 8x minus 2x plus 6x minus 16. Second bracket x square now 2x plus 4x 6x. You can see x square plus 6x is common third bracket x square plus 6x plus 5 plus 476 equal to 0. Now I am going to give substitution. Substitution is obvious x square plus 6x equal to t. So this is our substitution where I am putting x square plus 6x equal to t. Okay, so our equation will convert t minus 16, t plus 8, t plus 5, plus 476 equal to 0. All right. Now I have to take the product. So this will give us full-fledged cubic equation. If you want to take, then see how it is. T square plus 5 plus 8, 13T plus 40. Then I will multiply with T minus 16 plus 476. Okay. If I will open, expand this. So T cube and see terms are there. So I am writing the direct equation t cube plus or let me write 8t square the expansion of that minus 11t square minus 88t minus 80t minus 640 plus 476 equal to 0 okay then the next step i will consider the final cubic equation. So that is t cube minus 
थ्री टी स्क्वायर माइनस वन सिक्सटी एट टी माइनस वन सिक्सटी फोर इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इफ यू सी वन प्लस थ्री प्लस वन सिक्सटी फोर If you will see one plus three plus see this term. If I will add without sign, then I am getting the third one. So that means clue is there somewhere. T equal to one is for sure. It is not solution because three numbers are negative. One number is positive. So that is of course T equal to one is not solution. Let me put T equal to negative one. So if I am putting T equal to negative one, then it will be minus one, minus three. then i will write plus 168 then i will write minus 164 check yes this is negative 160 0 that means t equal to minus 1 is the solution of the given cubic equation so now our task is to find out the remaining roots the remaining solution so let me consider synthetic division directly write all the coefficients 1 minus 3 Minus one sixty eight, minus one sixty four. You can use remainder theorem also. You can use long division method also. But I guess this is the quickest. So one minus three minus one sixty eight minus one six sixty four are the coefficients of the cubic polynomial, and t equal to minus one is the base solution. So I will find out one quadratic equation. How I will put one line over there. Then I will take the leading coefficient as it is. Now I'll take the product minus one, minus four, four, minus one sixty four. Take the product one sixty four, zero. Factorization done. T plus one. If I will write in terms of factors, then this is t square minus four t minus one sixty four equal to zero. This equation is. very very important for us for our solution also so let me solve first equation first so t plus 1 equal to 0 what was t t was x square plus 6x this was our substitution so i will put t equal to x square plus 6x Plus one equal to zero. This is quadratic equation. Of course, I am going to apply quadratic formula. Let me apply directly here. Plus six x plus one equal to zero. So x will become minus b plus minus square root of b square thirty six minus four over two a. Minus six plus minus square root thirty two over two a. Two a means two. Minus six plus minus sixteen times two. So four root two over two. So ultimately, I am having our two solutions confirm. Minus six plus minus. Let me write, divide by two. So I will write here minus three plus minus two root two. these are two confirm solutions now i will solve quadratic and i will find out the remaining four all right so let's take that equation let me change this i will write t square so that equation was t square minus 4t minus 164 equal to 0 it looks like it will give us a uh, t equal to Minus b. Let us apply plus minus square root minus four square sixteen minus four into minus one sixty four. So that value is six fifty six and sign with plus over two a so two. So I will take four plus minus. This is root six seventy two. Fifty six plus sixteen seventy two. So now six seventy two. If you will find factors, then it is forty two times sixteen. So I can write four plus minus four root forty two over two. So from here we are getting t as two point 
टू प्लस माइनस टू रूट फोर्टी टू नाउ वी हैव टू ओनली पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी लेट एस पुट द वैल्यू सो आई विल राइट लेट मी राइट दैट इक्वेशन टी इज इक्वल टू सो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स इक्वल टू टू प्लस माइनस टू रूट फोर्टी टू आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेक सेपरेट प्लस एंड माइनस सेपरेटली अदरवाइज इट विल टेक लॉन्ग वर्क मीन्स यू हैव टू डू द सेम थिंग अगेन अगेन सो लेट मी टेक ऑल द टर्म्स टू लेफ्ट सो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस टू प्लस माइनस टू रूट फोर्टी टू equal to 0 now as per our quadratic formula a is 1 b is 6 c is negative 2 plus 2 root 42 let's apply so x will become minus b so minus 6 plus minus square root 36 minus 4ac so it will be plus 4 times same thing plus minus 2 root 42 Divided by 2a, so 2, 2 will be there always. Okay, so minus 6 plus minus. If I will consider 36 plus 8, so 44. So let me write directly 44 and 4 times 2, so 8 root 42 over 2. Okay. Now I will take 4 outside. so if i will take common four common then it will come out outside the root it will become 2 so 4 that would be 8 plus 2 root 42 divided by 2 okay now divide this number means divide by 2 so i will get minus 3 plus minus square root 11 plus minus don't forget about plus minus because that will generate actually four solution plus minus 2 root 42 so there are how many values four values are there now you can see two we calculated earlier these are four values and the past solution the two solution which we calculated earlier that was minus 3 plus minus 2 root 2. so there are six solutions because of this sign plus minus it is this is plus and minus okay so there are four solution from this equation quadratic equation and from that first one we got minus 3 plus minus 2 root 2 this is how we can find out all the six solution of any hexic equation using synthetic division quadratic equation quadratic formula and manipulation i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video